Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a class 11 of lesson AC Currents and this is the last session of this uh, lesson AC Currents. So please watch the previous sessions repeatedly and try to make your own notes and try to develop some doubts. Ask me to watch it. So in the last session, I will discuss about uh, what are the energy losses in the transformers, why a uh, transformer cannot be uh, equal output power compared to the input power I discuss followed by the differences in the transformers and one important definition of this what is an ideal transformer so just for the uh, convenience I take first of all differences so differences between uh, step up transformer and step down transformer step up and step down So major difference. A step up transformer, you know, as for the last session, you know, in a step up transformer, output voltage is more than the input voltage. In step down, output voltage is less than the input voltage. So you can take it as so it increases the this is a point number one, it increases the output voltage. Output voltage. Here it decreases the output voltage. Point number two. So in step up transformer, you are not uh, increase the output voltage. You know, voltage depends upon the number of turns as for the previous derivation in the transformer. So default the primary voltage should be less than the secondary voltage and here primary voltage should be more than the secondary voltage here Vs which is known as output voltage here it should be more than the input here it should be less than the input so the number of turns also will vary according to this one here number of turns should be less than secondary compared to primary since Number of turns in secondary must be more than number of turns in the primary. Here, vice versa. Number of turns should be greater than, in the primary should be greater than number of turns in the secondary. As the voltage here is less in primary than the secondary, current will get vice versa. Because current is reciprocal to the voltage when power is constant. So, from this point of right, IP is greater than IS. And here, IP is less than IS. Then the last one. So here number of turns in secondary is being more. You know turns ratio formula. Turns ratio is equal to NS by NP. Then automatically turns ratio here is greater than 1. It is less than 1. So these are the major differences you can come across in the step up and step up transformers. So at the last I can introduce one more difference. Uh, where the point of application comes. So, a step up transformer is used in, uh, you can say, inverters. So, inverter in a home UPS, then it takes 12 volts from the battery, assuming an uh, external power is off, cut off. So, mains is off, it takes 12 volts from the battery and it increases to 220 volts in order to supply for the household. Step down transformer, it can be used in uh, mobile charges like I said. Even uh, home UPS works as both step up and step down. Uh, when it also step up, when mains is off, it takes the uh, voltage from the battery and it decreases to 220. So it's a step up. Input is 12, output is 220. Uh, step down, when the power is on, and since mains is on, it takes same 220 volts and converts into 12 volts and will start charging the battery. So that's what I told in the last session. There are transformers having one input and multiple outputs also. Because the same magnetic flux acts. For example, if you use high-end transformers, input is 220 volts and output you can get 5 volts separate secondary power. 12 volts, separate secondary power. 24 volts, separate secondary. Similarly, 30. The transformer will be of this much size. 
you will get 4 outputs, 5 volts, 12 volts, 24, 30. Or you can bind the number of terms according to your own convenience also. You can construct your own transformer according to your own application. So, this is what the transformer and differences you can uh, come into understand. Now, the question is uh, applications, uh, no need to mention here. That is for the extra reference. So, once after understanding the differences, in the last session I told, Efficiency is defined as output power divided by input power and as per the statement of the transformer the efficiency should be equal to 1 then if any transformer whose efficiency is equal to 1 then that is called ideal transformer ideal transformer but in practice you never find a transformer whose efficiency is equal to 1 the reason is why in the last session put one question mark the answer is now in the answer. The reason is there are five concepts will come into screen. So in the material I have only four, the fifth one shall be here. Why the efficiency is not equal to a why it's always less than one? Means output power is always less than the input power. For that one reason, very first reason is flux leakage. Very important. So try to understand. Next, heating of the coil. Next, LD currents. Next, hysteresis loss. Next, electrostriction. So it also can be called as humming currents. So these are so these are the main five reasons why a power loss takes place in a transformer. So very first I will discuss with the flux leakage. So what is flux leakage? So as per the mutual inductance, if you see. When an input voltage is given to one coil, known as primary here, that produces change in the magnetic flux, and that flux acts over the secondary, where induced EMF is doubled. Now, when the flux developed from the primary coil acts over the secondary coil, due to the improper windings in the coil, some amount of the flux may escape into the environment where it cannot be retried. Such flux loss leads to loss in the power known as flux leakage. So how to minimize it? So to minimize the flux leakage it is advised to do the windings of the coil in a proper manner that will be done for the technicians. Second, heating of the coils. You know every coil is made up of a wire. Pure inductance is not possible as per the definition of pure inductor. So any inductor will offer certain resistance. So because of this resistance, when AC voltage flows to the coil, then some amount of power will convert into heat. That converted heat, in sense the power which is converted to heat cannot be retrieved back. Because of this, some power will be lost. Then how to minimize the heating of the coils? This happens how instance by taking a coil of wire made up of, or you can say, having a large area cross section. Means instead of taking a thin wire, take a thick wire so that area of cross section is being more. It offers less resistance because of the heating of the coil will be minimized. Next, additives. So regarding the decurrents I discussed in the electromagnetic induction, when uh, uh, any change in the what is the magnetic flux takes place with respect to any metallic uh, frames, then uh, circulating currents will develop over the such metal surfaces known as eddy currents. I discussed in EMI. So these eddy currents will develop over the core over which the coils are winded over. Since the uh, core of the uh, transformer is made up of metal or metal sheets, 
some anti currents will develop over the metal sheets due to change in the magnetic flux so this can be minimized by taking a laminated core or a core which is a non conducting type so this is about eddy currents next hysteresis loss even hysteresis process also discussed during the magnetism and magnetism see here uh, if you take an alternate ac signal flux will increase and it will decrease as per the ac voltage if uh, increase in the voltage flux also increases decrease in the voltage flux also decreases so that process you can similarly can compare with the uh, process of magnetization and demagnetization so this process takes place for every half cycle process of magnetization and demagnetization there is a some amount of energy loss takes place as per the hysteresis so during the hysteresis curve i have explained what is hysteresis loss the energy loss during the process of magnetization and demagnetization of ferromagnetic material is known as hysteresis loss this can be minimized by taking or by insulating uh, material with the uh, non ferromagnetic materials the next electrostriction what is electrostriction is known as humming currents see uh, just take an example uh, switch on uh, mobile charger and try to hear some small amount of uh, noise very low amount of noise from the charger like it's like a humming current even from a home inverter ups or i can say a ups uh, what is that the system in the home you can find some uh, noise very like a mosquito by uh, sound will come up same like sound will get from the transformer that is due to the humming currents because this alternate current will produce a, a small amount of vibrations in the core of the transformer which is technically called as electrostriction even the vibrations also require certain power that power is taken from the input this can be minimized by clamping the transformer with rigid bolts even though if you do all these uh, what i can say measuring steps in order to minimize this there is some amount of loss always will take place because of which the transformer is unable to give equal output power compared to the input power hence any transformer you take always it gives a less output power compared to the input power that's the reason why you are able to find an ideal transformer so this is about uh, what i can say uh, reasons behind why efficiency is never equal to power or you can say energy losses in the transformers see first four are officially in the syllabus and this is for the extra purpose for additional information given in the section no need to mention this this for our syllabus so hope you understood about the differences between the step up and step down transformer and uh, uh, what are the energy losses in the transformers and how it can be minimized so please watch the video repeatedly and try to refer the study material any doubt is doubt sir that please update me through whatsapp with this i will conclude the ac current lesson in the upcoming session i'll go with a new chapter so thank you for the session if any doubts is there please submit me through whatsapp